Yes. Hi, I've Hi. got a slightly different question to Behrouz. Hi, Behrouz. Uh, in your past interviews, you have repeatedly criticised the mainstream media. In what do you believe they have failed to portray a sound and fair reflection of the reality? You called it the dark side of democracy. Since you retrieved your freedom, you have been very well featured in many Western mainstream media, like here in ABC. What has changed your views, media, both or none? Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I think that is a critical question because for many years I've been, uh, you know, working as a journalist and the language that I used was uh, and is not uh, f following a, the current journalism language. Because in my perspective, at least about refugees, uh, that media are a part of uh, or are serving this system, you know. So for many years, even ABC, if we talk about ABC, you know, for one decade, Australia has been doing, uh, you know, in my perspective, crime against humanity in those islands. But actually, uh, this particular program, how many programs we had about refugees, mm. to, that people come here and discuss it, right people. I know that we already had one program, mm. but uh, I think people who appeared in that program, most of them were wrong. You know, they were not people who were working on the ground. So I think Australia should face this reality. Australia should really discuss this, you know. People should really know the, the truth about what's happened in those islands and in detention in Australia. We are facing a uh, detention industry, you know, and this detention industry that I mentioned before, they have spent $14 billion in this, uh, you know, detention. And people of Australia, I think, have this right to know, mm. you know, and they should know, they should hear that from the mainstream media in this country. And that is your mm. duty. We are living in a liberal democracy. We are living in a democracy. So I think people expect that, that people come here and tell the truth. That's what people expect. Mm. Jantine, I, I want to go to something that... We, we, we have Beirut here, and something that Peter Dutton said uh, when he was Immigration Minister, that Beirut would not be permitted to come to Australia. And he said, I'll be very clear about that. What do you say to Beirut tonight when he's sitting here talking about the plight of refugees <laughs> when Peter Dutton didn't want him here? Well, can, can I say that I'm very happy that New Zealand have um, accepted Beirut as a, as a permanent resident, because if you look at Australia's... And we, and we couldn't? No. no it, it, this is a really important point. If you look at Australia's record at taking refugees, it is far, far superior to that of New Zealand's. So, <laughs> well, well, look at the record. I've, but I, I, I think, I think the question was directly that. You're not, you're, not, you're not speaking to Beirut. Uh, no, no, I should say something, actually. It is, I'm very glad that for the first time, someone from Liberal Party mentioned my name. <laughs> and, and that always they call me an individual, Peter Dutton and others. Mark Turnbull in the election on 2016, he mentioned, he just pretended that I don't know this guy. So I think that shows the mentality of this system and this government, because they don't want to recognize us as a human being. And that's why they design a system to dehumanize refugees. So I'm very glad that you mentioned my name. You did, you did the first time. Can I go back to Rihanna? Um, you, you had a follow-up question as well about the situation in Iran. Sorry, can you, you say that? You have a follow-up question as well. Yes. 
I think another theme Behrouz would like to talk about is about IRGC, right? That's the Ira Iranian Republican Guard. Yeah, stands for Iranian Revolutionary Guard Corps. I've got a challenging question for you, Behrouz. IRGC is an official military arm of Iran, which simply means, for the people who don't know context, that hand in hand with the military of Iran, IRGC has defended the integrity of my country, Iran, over decades. Now, in the current situation, don't you think that putting IRGC under the terrorist list, which even doesn't fit the Australia regulatory framework, would mean a preliminary action for another war in a region you and me have come from? Don't you think that you, as a human rights activist, can you be very clear saying that, are you an advocate of war, another war against your motherland country, Iran? Thank you. I think your approach is very wrong because you say that IRGC has been defending Iran, but actually IRGC had a big role at creating a huge tragedy in Syria. That thing that I think, that's why I think, and also because IRGC, they uh, have killed many people, especially over the past four months. 500 people, protesters on the street. That's why I strongly believe that IRGC should be in the terrorist list. That's what I believe. Well, there you go, Stan. I bet you didn't expect that me and Baruz would be actually agreeing on something like this. And, and I agree with you, Baruz. You are absolutely spot on. And Stephen Jones, is that likely to happen? Uh, these are matters for the Foreign Minister to, um, to announce at the appropriate point in some time. It's not my role to do that. Um, can, I, can I actually make this point, though? Um, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad that uh, you're featured on programs like this and I'm glad you're coming to Canberra tomorrow. It speaks well of a vibrant democracy, but also a confident government. Um, we don't shut down people who don't agree with us. We say, come put your arguments. We might agree, we might disagree. I happen to disagree with some of the things that you've said about our record. I think it's pretty good, actually. And it will get better as we implement our policies. But I'm glad everything. you're here. Actually. I'm, I'm actually glad you're here and I'm glad you're advocating the points and, and I'm glad you're telling your story. Stan, I think it's a good Stan, thing. this is a really important point, though, mm. because uh, if, you, if you know a little bit about Baruza's background and story, it was actually Kevin Rudd and a decision that he made in 2013 mm. that meant that Baruz didn't come to Australia. Uh, I think you missed out by two or three days no, when no, that I decision was made, according to... Parties. So, no, I, I think I we need that. to just oh, check the... Uh, it's no, not no. only about Liberal. Rudd slams the door on both people, and that's, that was the decision that was, was taken, based on the reading that I, I just, have of just, his just, background. I'm not sure we're, we're, point. Yeah. We're, we're almost out of time, but just finally, um, Beruz, what would you like to achieve tomorrow when you're in Canberra? Yeah, tomorrow I am going to actually support the uh, <clears throat> uh, legislation that Green Party put on the, on the table to transfer those people who are in Port Mosby and Nauru to Australia. Mm -hmm. And there are 140 people, mm -hmm. 70 in Port Mosby, 70 in Nauru. And I think Labor should support that because you supported the Medivac law if you remember, in the former yeah, government. Remember. So if you don't support this, that means that you didn't believe and that was just a political mm. issue for you. So you should support this because you already supported Medivac law in the former uh, government. So that's why what we expect, that Labour show some, uh, be brave mm. and trust in your power, trust in people who support you and do something for refugees. And we'll, That's we'll, what we'll, we await, we'll await that response. Rihanna, thank you so much for your questions uh, as, as well tonight. Before we